Hey everyone, this is Mike with Class One Model Works. We're coming to you today to show you how to put on one of our brand new loads. This one is a ladle, the top half of a ladle for a steel, molten steel at the steel plant. So what we're going to do, uh, this load comes with your half ladle section, two sections of floor uh, cribbing, and two sections of side supports, as well as 10 pieces of wire for you to mount and tie down your load with. So those are the things that are included in the kit. You're gonna need one of your GSC flat cars for this, a pin vise with a number 76 bit or a little bit larger if you prefer, a pair of tweezers, a pair of needle nose pliers, wire cutters, a little bit of painter's tape, CA cement, and some uh, um, some kicker uh, so you can get uh, a little bit uh, faster set on your glue. Uh, you could use a little bit of railroad brown uh, paint, railroad tie brown paint. This is poly scale, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. So we want to get started on this project. The first thing you're going to want to do is pre-drill some holes in your flat car. If you look at the photo, and we'll have this on our website so you can see it, there's a couple of places where we're going to need to tie this down. So there'll be these two tie downs on this end and the same thing on the other side. These are the holes we're going to need to drill in the deck unless you want to put on a separate piece that kind of glues on the outside and tie into that with a hole. Whatever you'd like to do there. So what I have done here is I've already, with my pin vise, pre-drilled two holes. One on each side of the deck. And this is where my uh, tie down wires are going to go uh, later on. So that's kind of some of the prep work we've done for this. And uh, for later on in the process, and this is going to be up to you, I've also made a couple of little angles. And these will be bracing that we're going to need to have to give it a more realistic appearance. Now you can use, you can either use this bracing or I've got a couple of other pieces that I made up, little strip stock back here. That can be used again it's out of the two by three and we can use those as braces because we're going to need braces for the bottoms of here of the uh, of these side braces so with that we're going to get started on our project so if you would like to have your wood on here look a little more weathered this is where that railroad brown uh, railroad tie brown poly scale comes in you can really just do a nice little dry brush on this give it a nice little light coat and really make your wood look like it's a little more aged wood rather than new wood. Real simple to do. You don't want to be too heavy with this. Just want to, you want to more or less let the, uh, the bottom wood shine through. So that's why we just take a little bit on the end of our brush, wipe a bunch of it off onto a paper towel, and then just use the remnants to give it a nice little dark coating. So you can go ahead and do that with all of your wood here and you'll make it look like they're using aged wood instead of brand new wood for that, for that cribbing. So that's just a little tip there uh, for you to try and uh, make give your uh, load a little more credibility or you know, if you want to, it can be a uh, load using all brand new fresh cut wood. Uh, use the uh, Use the cribbing as it comes. So, yeah, that's just a nice little deal. That a uh, nice little way that you can uh, give this a little flair, a little uh, of your own uh, touch when doing this. Okay, the first thing we want to do to get started is we're going to have to locate our cribbing on the deck. So there's two pieces of this. They go one to either side. If you look at these closely, they are not even because there's a taper on the piece of the ladle. So these kind of taper with that ladle and they're going to rest in along the edge here. And what you'll see, there's two close together and one further out and they'll go on in this manner. 
such that the two are in the narrow part at the back and the other one is up towards the front. So that's how those are gonna locate on here. And there's two of them in their opposite hand. So that makes it uh, very nice for uh, being able to tell which way it goes, which way and which one is which. So we want to locate these on the deck using our, uh, our, drum, our uh, drum piece or our section piece of the ladle. But to do that and get it in the right place, we have to snug it up and make sure that we're square and that we're evenly spaced side to side. Well, when I remove this, then I'm, there's a chance that I'm going to literally move these and not, you can see there when I pick it up, it moves. So what we're gonna do, just to take care of that, we're gonna put a little piece of tape, narrow tape, paint, this is painter's tape, so we don't wind up taking off any paint off of our car. We'll put a little narrow piece of painter's tape on to the cribbing. And this will let us tie this down so that it won't move on us once we get everything set in place. So we get that tape on there and let's put these back in place again here. And if you look at the deck on here, there's sets of little holes and big holes. The back end of this cribbing is going to be very near or just beyond this last set of small holes. So that'll kind of give you an idea and a guide for when you're doing this as to exactly where these things are going to be. So we've got our tape in place. And we'll kind of position these again like we did before on the deck. And we'll take the, uh, the ladle section and we'll place it in the middle. And what you want to do is have this so that this outside ring is just touching the deck and then snug these in so that they're just up against the ladle. You don't want to lift that section. You just want to get them snug up against the ladle and then check it side to side and front to back and watch out for your tape. So we'll get those in here again. We'll check. We're kind of equidistant front to back here or side to side on the car. We're snugged into. <laughs> we're snugged into the ladle and we're equidistant from the ends. And then at that point, what we'll do is we'll just hang on here and we'll just kind of tape this down in place. Just use the ends of your fingers to tape that down so that those don't move. All right, so now we've got this positioned where we want it. We're gonna take our drum out. And then what we need to do is mark the position on here so that we can glue these down. So using a nice sharp pencil, Make a couple of scribe marks on your deck. So you can see where this goes. And I'd put your scribe marks to the inside like I'm doing here so that I can see exactly where I'm at. And make sure you get the sides in here so that you get everything positioned right back according to where you want it. All right, so now I can take my tape off And my cribbing and we'll put a little uh, CA on here so you can see my marks here that are on the deck and I'll get a little bit of CA glue on the bottom of this we use the 15 second glue the purple label because that just gives you a little bit more working time when you're working on this so then again line yourself up with your marks Make sure you're side to side, you're good. And that looks pretty good right there. And we'll put a little accelerator in there so that all gets set. Yep, that's on pretty good. And now we'll do the other side. And again, we'll line it up with our marks. And some accelerator. All right, now our cribbing is down. 
and then we'll test fit our ladle section again and we're really good we're touching on here we're touching on this side so we've done a good job of getting that realigned right where it is and it's sitting on the deck as it should be so so right now we're in really great shape folks all right so the next thing we're going to want to do is actually glue down the ladle and get in position now the, the thing that's going to be critical here and you can use a level is we want the two the two uh, rotational points here we want those ears to be nice and level on the card you can either do it by sight or you can use a level if you like i think we look pretty good right there all right so what i'm going to do is make a small mark on the back here just a little tiny mark so that i know where i want to line it up at the deck because that being pencil, you can get rid of that a little later on. But that gives me a point where I can easily put just a couple of dots glue in here. Now let me get this set down on the deck. Hold it down in place. Put a little accelerator in there. And there we are. So we've got that done. Okay, our next step is going to be to put our side bracing on. And if you look at the picture, you can see how this bracing kind of fits right up into these pockets. And then the bound side will be sit on the deck up on the curve. So that's what, what we're going for. There's, there's a slight angle. One side of this is a little bit narrower than the other side. The easiest way to tell which is which if we go to our car, one side, if the small side is going to fit really nice into the pockets, and the large side is going to be way to the outside of the pockets. So find that side that's narrower, shorter, and basically we're going to put it in just about right like this. All right, and we'll get that glued in place. So that's going to be our next step. So we'll put a little CA on into each of the little corners up here and just a little dab at the base here. Don't go too crazy with this. We just want enough to locate it and make sure that it stays in place. Okay, and then some accelerator on that. Okay, and now we've got our side brace on here. Now, what the railroad's going to do to hold this in place is they're going to put some place where they can tie that down or, or square it in or drill it in. And we can use either some more of that 2 by 3 stock that we had before. And you can basically glue that on as a backstop, something somewhat like this. Or we can use these angle pieces, which is more likely what uh, the railroad would do. We'd place an angle in here, and then what they do is drill and bolt through the angle into the wood. So it's up to you what you'd like to do. Uh, you know, in the, in the same respect, the uh, the this piece, the you know, the little bar here, they could do the same thing. Being a large bar, they can they'll burn some holes in that, and then they'll basically drill and screw into the wood. For the, uh, for the sake of time and expediency, I think I'm, I like the feel of the bar on here. Again, that would be welded to the deck, and then they would go from there. So I think that's what I'm going to do on this, is we're going to uh, use that bar. So we might have a little bit of accelerator on here. Let's make sure we kind of wipe that off so our uh, CA doesn't just set up right away on that. Because with that remaining uh, accelerator that's on the deck, this should uh, glue in quickly and easily. Be real good to position it just where you want it. And we'll set that in there. And now you got your uh, your brace for your uh, for your wood support. 
And now we're gonna uh, go ahead and do the other side and we'll be right back when we're done with that. Okay, so now we've finished uh, getting our load all situated on here. We've got our bracing and our cribbing is all in here. So this car is looking good as a start. And if you're so inclined and you're not comfortable with working uh, with the, uh, the wire for doing the tie downs and that, it's perfectly fine to leave the car as it is here and that should travel down your road looking pretty good. But uh, for a little bit more realistic appearance, as we can see in the, uh, the photo here, they've got this thing tied down to the car and that's what we're going to do. So first what I'm going to do is work on the tie downs out here on this end. And what we want to do is take our uh, pliers, our needle nose, and we're going to bend just a little angle into the end of the wire here. And we're going to insert it into the back. Check it, check it for fit, that looks good. Check it for length, that looks good. On the back side, we're gonna put a little CA glue in here. And then we'll hit that with a little accelerator so it stays. There we go. And then we're gonna to wanna to do that for the other three braces on this side. Okay, so we've got our wires all done. They're all inserted and tied down. So now what we want to do is tie down to our holes out here. We've got a hole here and a hole here, a hole here and a hole here. First thing I want to do is make sure that before I try and put the wire in that all of my holes are still clear. So I'll use my pin vise. Just go through and make sure we haven't gotten any debris or other things have clogged that hole up, which will make inserting the wire a little bit tricky. All right, so all my holes are free and clear. So now what I wanna do is measure pretty close to where that hole is and trim the excess wire here. I just need a little bit for an end here to bend and stick through. So I'm gonna trim that wire and I'll use a needle nose and put a little tip on the end of this, bend, it, bend that down just slightly, about a 45 degree angle. All right, we've got our angle on there. I've made my angle too far out for my hole. My hole's here, my angle's out here. And then shape the wire so it looks like it's a nice taut wire. All right, we've got our first wire in. So now we're going to measure our next one. And since this is a little longer, I'm gonna cut a little longer tail on this. because I'm gonna to need to get a little extra pull on it for uh, for getting that taut. So again, I'll measure where my hole is and make my bend. And now I'm going to feed the wire through. And then from here, we'll trim it and glue it. And uh, that gives you an idea of uh, how this process goes. And we'll be right, on, right back in a couple seconds once we're done. All right, so now we've got all of our wires installed. We've got this whole side of the uh, ladle tied down. Uh, wires look nice and taut, and looks like we're ready to roll and move on to the next section. And the next part's going to be making this tie down on the ladle. Now you can see here this has some strapping material and then the uh, tie bars pulled through that. To make this a little bit easier for everybody so that we can use the same wire uh, that are go that, that's going on, that's we have made a couple of little uh, tie-down points here, some loops on there. These were done in many ways. If you want to go ahead and try and find strapping material and do this, like the thing, we'll have this picture on our website and you guys can look at that and you can try and mimic that yourselves. That's not a problem. We want to do this so the vast majority of people can use all the wire that comes in the bundle. So we're gonna start with this, the first thing we're gonna do, and on these there's two, two loops, one to the inside and one to the outside. We're gonna to want to start with the loop on the inside first, because otherwise it's gonna be in the way when you're trying to work on the one on the outside. So we're gonna start, we're gonna start with a little loop method on this. So we're gonna bend over a little bit of the uh, wire so that we make a bit of a loop on the end here 
and then we're going to feed this through. Well, we're only going down straight down into the deck, so we don't need a long piece of wire. So we'll make our loop, and then we're going to trim this uh, to a little length here. And trim that to a shorter length, and then we're going to test fit it, because we may even trim a little bit more off, because this is going to go into one of these holes right down here in the deck, and we're going to glue that in place. So when we feed that in, we want this to be almost even with our loop here. So it looks like we are probably going to need to take off about another half inch. So now what I want to do is feed this through the loophole here. Feed that through here. Okay, I've got that fed in. We're going to take it down to the deck. We're going to position it at the hole, at this little hole. Feed. Better yet, where did my tweezers go? There they are. This would be a much better way. Tweezers, positive control. There we go. Oh, that's a nice fit. Very nice fit. So what I want to do is get a little dab of glue into there. And then we're going to hit it with uh, the accelerator. And that'll get that set. So then our loop, we want to take this loop and we want to take and snug it up. And then we want to put just a small little drop of CA on there so that it looks like this is bound with a clip. So you'll straighten that up so they're a little parallel there. And then again, we'll take our little wire loop these ones you can work with a little bit longer because these are the outside holes that actually go down through the deck here. Now on this particular car is going to be a little bit of an issue because you have this type, the, uh, the uh, number board plate on here. So we're going to have to pull through in behind this uh, to get this, this side tied down. The hole that's out just a little bit, not quite straight down, but just a little bit out. If you want to, you can always go to that hole, you can go to this hole, wherever you'd like to do. If you even want to go over and tie out to one of these holes, that's perfectly fine as well. And what I'm gonna do is bend that back inside here so that stays tight up here. We'll nudge this down like we did on the other side. And what I wanna do is trim off the excess here. So that stays nice and taut and you can see in here where I've bent the wire over underneath the plate. We don't have to worry about things being seen too much in behind there so we can be a little more judicious with what we have. And so now we have tied down on here and we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. All right, folks, so now we've come to the uh, end of our uh, install and our assembly and you can see that this really looks nice with all the tie downs on here and the cribbing in place. It's a really great looking load. And you can have this running around on your layout. Just go to class1modelworks.com and you can go ahead and order. So this is the steel half ladle. So what this is, is again, this is the top section of a ladle. The bowl section is missing. That'll be joined at a different date. But this is a great load. It's one of three new loads that we're coming out with and you can go and order yours at class1modelworks.com. This is Mike. Have a great day and happy modeling, folks.